get this crap set up. That was hours. So I've got my old copy of Steam of Quake. I'm getting it set up on the new laptop. I think I finally got everything set up where I used to have it. So I got the crosshair on there. It's using video acceleration. I'm using a program called Quake Spasm, which enables the widescreen support. So we're running at 1080p. If you see in the lower right hand corner, it says 60 frames per second. That's the maximum speed of my screen refresh. Got the mouse sensitivity set up. I like it. And other things I got, um, got the shadows turned on, and I got transparency turned on on uh, what's well, called the uh, alpha. And let's see, scroll up. That's the other thing, joystick enable. Finally figured out how to get that to work. So I've got my PS4 controller hooked up here. That's what I'm using. So we're gonna see how this goes. Back in the day when this game first came out, I had a AMD DX4 120 that was overclocked to 133 and tried running this game. It was so floating point dependent. I couldn't, uh, this game ran like crap in software mode. It was like even like a slow Pentium 60 was smoking my rig. But, some um, joystick support that they have in here is really good. The sensitivity, I mean, I like it a little bit higher, but it's really good. to do some tweaking with it, because uh, it doesn't have the buttons now for some reason, so watch I hit left trigger, you'll see this arrow as it on the screen. Jibs. Do some Minecraft on him. So, I used to try to run this game on a 486 setup, which ran like Duke Nukem 3D really well. But, man, Quake came out, and soon before uh, I had a 3D accelerator. Could not run this in software mode at a decent frame rate. Here, but I don't remember where a rocket launcher is, and then got the shotgun boxes up there, so I'm assuming we can get up there. Yeah, we gotta... oh, is there a secret right here? I'll try to get down there in a sec. Get my claw damage, get the switch. One nice thing they did in the controller support is I don't have to use a separate run button, it's just how far I press the stick, like normal. So that's pretty good. Let's see if I can find some secrets. This controller support. This is nice. It's still, s I'm out of practice with a keyboard and mouse. Plus, it's using a laptop and like the uh, 
the, the shape of the shift key is it's hard to hit it because I'm hitting caps lock a lot too. There are more secrets in this level. Mm. Give me rocket ammo and a rocket launcher. Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Don't die. Look stupid. Pretty nice. Got V-Sync turned on, running perfectly smooth. Looks like a lock 60 from what I've noticed. There's no rocket launcher here. See, in the original and software version, you couldn't see through this sludge, so you couldn't tell that there was a secret tunnel right there. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the end. Yeah, pretty cool. Using a PlayStation 4 controller that doesn't have the left trigger bound. Close. 